Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to thank you for joining us for the 2010 Candidates Forum. My name is Michelle Alonzo. I'm the president and CEO for the Rancho Cucamonga Chamber of Commerce. This forum, thank you. This forum is being sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce in Southern California Edison. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the chairman of the board for the Chamber of Commerce, Brian Whitey. Thank you, Michelle. Good evening, Rancho Cucamonga, and welcome to the Chamber of Commerce's 2010 Candidates Forum. The mission of the Chamber is to promote a business-friendly environment to enhance the quality of life and economy of Rancho Cucamonga. This is the reason the Chamber's Board of Directors set the policy of sponsoring a Candidates Forum on election years, so that the attendees and the viewing audience can hear the candidates' answers pertinent to the economy and quality of life in Rancho Cucamonga. By listening to their answers, you can judge who will be the best candidate to serve as County Supervisor, Mayor of the City of Rancho Cucamonga, City Council, and Cucamonga, Cucamonga Valley Water District Board. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the moderator of this evening forum, Christian Nelson, Regional Manager of Local Public Affairs for Southern California Ederson. Good evening, candidates, for our Rancho Cucamonga Chamber of Commerce Candidates Forum for the Rancho Cucamonga City Council. Uh, the format for this evening will be as follows. Uh, first will be 90-second candidate introductions of personal background. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. My name is Rex Gutierrez. I've served on the City Council uh, for a number of years already. I moved here 23 years ago with my family. Uh, my wife, who's a dental hygienist, uh, Janet. Uh, my three children, Allison, Anna, and Rex, my son. Um, they're just about out uh, into uh, the world. Uh, my two daughters are at BYU uh, in uh, Utah, um, and my son is graduating this year from Rancho Cucamonga High School. It's been an honor and a pleasure uh, to serve as a council member. Uh, I went to USC uh, in Los Angeles for my uh, education. I worked as a stockbroker. Uh, an investment executive at Payne Weber Group, which became a United Bank of Switzerland. Uh, I've also worked in the uh, public sector. Uh, I've also owned a business, and uh, currently do own a business, the uh, Vineyard Press, a local publication. So I think uh, my time has been split uh, between uh, public and private sector. Uh, to be frank with you, I, I, my true love uh, is the um, private sector. It's where the ingenuity, uh, the creativity, it's the backbone uh, of our nation. Um, and what we need to do in this next um, period of time is to renew our faith in the pr uh, private sector, um, to uh, support our local businesses, uh, and to uh, give the economy a shot in the arm. And we can do that on the local level uh, as well as uh, the state and federal. But I'm here to represent you in the local level. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brian O'Connell. Um, I'm a resident of Ranch Cucamonga for the past uh, seven years. Um, I have uh, two stepdaughters and a son that's 25. The daughters are 18 and 14. My wife is Filipino, Chinese, and Spanish. Um, she's from the Philippines. Uh, her family is very involved in the businesses over there and here in the United States. Um, I started work at six years old. Uh, literally, I grew up down in Laguna Beach and uh, came from a very poor family. And um, started work in the field with uh, migrant workers picking strawberries off the 133. Um, I joined the military. I originally went to Chapman College, uh, ran out of money for school, joined the military, uh, spent approximately 10 years in the military, got severely injured in the military, spent a year in the Naval Hospital, a year in a wheelchair and two and a half years in crutches and almost lost both my legs. And I'm retired from the military, yet they wouldn't allow me to put that on the ballot. Um, I am a disabled veteran, uh, compensated, and uh, I went back to school and became a registered nurse. I went to the University of Southern California. I have a bachelor's degree in nursing, and I've started two companies, a vitamin company and an entertainment company um, from the ground up. So I do have the business experience, I do have the education, I do have the integrity to lead the city. Good evening. My name is Diane Williams. I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce for putting on this forum and especially thank all of you for coming. I will tell you this is the largest crowd that has ever uh, occurred for these kinds of things and so the Chamber is to be congratulated on getting the word out. It, it's, it's awesome to look out there and, and see all the people. Um, <clears throat> it's been an honor to serve on the Ranch Cucamonga City Council and I'm asking to be reelected. 
Uh, my commitment to Ranch Cucamonga has evolved over the years. 25 years ago, actually longer, uh, I started a quest with a goal for a city library. And through those years of learning about uh, how, to, how to make this happen, I eventually got onto the city council. And now we have two state-of-the-art libraries, a wonderful bookmobile, and a, a virtual library. The use of these libraries has far surpassed what anyone ever would have imagined, way beyond what anything you could imagine of compared to our neighboring cities' use of their libraries. Also, the Pacific Electric Trail was a goal, and it's now open. It's ready for people to run, ride, walk, do whatever they want in a beautiful, safe environment. Public safety is the most important service that we can provide, and I'm a strong supporter of all of our, whatever funding we have will go to public safety. I'm a fiscally very conservative individual. I welcome your, your comments, and I welcome your opinions. I'm always accessible. Good evening. My name is Chuck Bouquet. Uh, I've been a 54-year resident of Rancho Cucamonga, served on the city council from 1982 through 1994, um, helped lay out the blueprint or original general plan uh, that really laid the foundation for the community that we have here today. Um, I also want to acknowledge that my wife, uh, Suzanne, of 22 years, is here this evening uh, egging me on. I, at least I hope so. I can't quite see her from here. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate the opportunity to be here this evening. Um, it's, it's kind of good after 15 years uh, off uh, establishing my business and working my business to be uh, um, here presented with an opportunity to again serve uh, the city of Rancho Cucamonga as a city council member. Uh, I'm about building community through service. Uh, yeah, for the last 30 years, I've been involved in just about everything you could possibly be involved in in this community, um, including my council service. As your councilman, um, you know, I, I just want to say something. When I was on the city council, the years that I served, the 12 years, uh, it was about the right people making the right decisions for the right reasons. Uh, these are difficult times. There are dynamics and circumstances going on, and it's a case of where I'm offering to get back involved. We've got challenging times ahead. I've got 15 years of successful business experience. Uh, I help businesses for a living, and I help cities for a living. And I'm here to work, help the city guide them through these difficult times and, and assure our financial independence and economic stability and prosperity. Thank you for your time. My name is Bill Alexander. Is, it, is the mic working? I can't hear it too well. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, once again, my name is Bill Alexander. I uh, have lived in the city of Rancho Cucamonga for 40 years plus now. I did serve on the city council for 18 years. Uh, 12 years as mayor, six years on the council. Uh, for those of you that wondered, I didn't move out of this community. I didn't go to Arizona. And I know it's taking some of my time, but I must tell you, I have five acres of land, no water to it, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, I believe in this community, but I believe it can be better. I think right now we're probably facing the worst challenge we ever had, and that's the economic conditions that we're suffering through. Not because it's the chamber putting this on, but simply because it's true. The city is going to have to take responsibility for making the environment, the economic environment in this community better. We're going to have to do what we can to stimulate business, to see that they're successful, not to have them move out. We're going to have to interface with our representatives in Sacramento. We're going to have to see that they start listening, that they realize that fighting is not the thing to do, but working together is the thing to do, and that's what I intend to do on the city council is work together to be part of a team, but simply to make this community better. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Uh, first of all, let me acknowledge the Chamber of Commerce for putting on this event, acknowledge the crowd and everyone listening at home. My name is David Gonzalez. I'm a 28-year resident of Rancho Cucamonga. I'm uh, proudly married uh, to my beautiful wife, Gina, and uh, I know she's watching at home. She just... Uh, got home from taking our kids to softball practice so um, I have a daughter named Jasmine who's 13 years old my youngest one is Vanessa uh, she is 10 years old the, they go to uh, Jasmine goes to Day Creek and Vanessa goes to Lightfoot Elementary I am proud to been serving my community for 10 years now in whatever way I could I currently spend whatever free time I do have as president of the Ranch of Cucamon Girls Softball. I'm vice president of the Library Foundation. I'm a member of the Sports Advisory Committee here in the city. And I also donate my time to the Senior Center and helping whatever way I can. I'm also a uh, business owner. I own my own residential real estate business here for the last 10 years. And I believe that our community right now needs a, a young family voice to give that perspective. Uh, because if we look at our crowd here and everyone at home, 
we see that we have a, a very diverse um, community, and I think the, com the city council should reflect the community that it serves, and I hope to bring that fresh voice, the family voice on the city council, and I thank you for your vote. Good evening. I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce for putting this on for us, and uh, I think uh, I was um, a resident here for 37 years. I grew up in Roseville, Michigan. I went to high school there, and upon graduation, I joined the United States Air Force. I served four and a half years active duty, and when I got out, I came back to California, and I went to Pierce College under the GI Bill. I married my wife in Van Nuys, California. I have two great kids and six great, great grandkids, and this is one of the reasons I'm running for city council. Number one is somebody put out a brochure. What does it really matter what happened 30 years ago? Well, it really matters. And now it matters what happened the last four and six years. We're tired of the same old rhetoric. It's time for a change. If you want a better Rancho Cucamonga, look at the other candidates. You know, uh, what happened in Bell could happen here. In fact, that gentleman started here, and some of the people that were on the city council that knew him all of a sudden don't know him. So I, th I think it's time you look at all the candidates, and if you want something better, it's time for a change. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Sarah Jimenez, and I've pretty much been raised in the city. I moved here when I was uh, nine years old, and I started uh, at uh, Bergos Elementary. I am a product of our local schools. I went to elementary school here, I went to junior high here, and I went to Chafee College. Um, a lot of you guys might recognize me because what I've done for the last 10 years, I, I'm a FedEx driver. That's what I do for a living. Um, and you might wonder, what's a FedEx driver doing up here with the rest of this gentleman, right? Uh, when you have the kind of job that I, that I have, you spend a lot of time in the community. You spend 10 to 12 hours driving out there. So you get to see the businesses, you get to see the residential areas, and I got to speak and spend a lot of time with the small business owners, and I got to spend a lot of time with the people that work at restaurants, retail places, and also I got to drive around our neighborhood and see what they look like. Like I said, I've been doing it for the last 10 years, and I got to see our city go through the peak of the bubble, of the economic bubble, and also now that it's going down. I've got to see our businesses shut down, I've got to see people laid off for a log, people lose their homes, and that's what got me interested into running for city council. And then when I started looking into city council, and I realized that the city council does not reflect the community at large, and that they spend half of the time going through the legal battles that some council members are facing. That's why I decided to run for city council. I want a city council that reflects the community at large, and that it's ethical, and serves the people and not themselves. Okay, thank you very much.